With FeatureCam 2018, you now have the option to use an automatically calculated angle when using the surface milling toolpath strategy, parallel finishing. By utilizing this option, the orientation of the toolpath is calculated based on the underlying surfaces, promoting a more efficient toolpath. So as you can see, I've loaded in the model and we actually have two predefined features. I'm actually going to deselect the automatic angle feature and run through the process of creating it manually. So to do this, I'm going to create a new feature and it's going to be a surface milling feature. At this point, I'm going to select the surfaces that I require. So I'm just going to select them like so and actually deselect this outer surface here. I'm going to add these to the feature. I'm actually going to choose a single operation to define this feature and it's going to be a parallel finishing strategy. At this point, I have a variety of options for controlling the strategies used and you can see that we have this new option for using an automatic angle. By pressing next, I have a variety of options to controlling my boundaries and I'm actually going to use a horizontal only type toolpath and I'm going to limit this to 10 degrees either side of the horizontal. At this point, I can press finish and my feature is added to my features list. At this point, I can select preview and just run through a centerline simulation. So what you're going to see is FeatureCam is actually going to split the toolpath up and in each region, it's going to look at the underlying surface and determine a region to cut the part in the most efficient manner. So if I just zoom into this section right here, you can see that the direction has been automatically chosen. Similarly, if I look into this region here, and just take a view from the top, you can see that the direction has been chosen like so.